Hi everybody, this is Dragon Flow. So I was asked by the MS community to make another yoga video. It's been years since I make one, but here goes. So my first stretch is a forward bend. It's basically a stretch that will help you uh, get mobility and flexibility in your hamstrings. Also, if you do it properly by keeping your back straight, it will increase the strength in your abs, and this is also very helpful. Make sure to move with your breath. Come up nice and slow, and go down nice and slow. And then you could stay there 30 to 40 seconds. I just want to tell you straight away, this is not a video you watch from front to back and exercise directly with the video. I'm just giving you exercise ideas you can practice on your own. We'll be doing seating exercises. We'll be doing uh, exercises on a box. Uh, we'll be doing exercises that are standing that you could use a stick or a counter. We're going to do all kinds of different stuff. This video is really for everybody. The, the next stretch, I showed it on one side. On the other side is you basically inhale, you bring one arm up, and you exhale, you bring the arm up to the side. You don't have to move fast. Really take your time among stretches and feel the stretch. And if you have time, you can hold each individual stretch st statically afterwards between 20 seconds and a minute, a little longer if you prefer. The next stretch I show is basically like a seated front kick. There's actually a lot of stretches you could do while seated because they don't require you to play with your balance so much. So you can do kicks. I don't show any here, but you can do knees to chest. Or you could just hold the pose statically. You could bring your foot to your head. Here, if you want, grab your calf or grab around your knee. Uh, I want you to keep your back nice and straight. Don't collapse your back. Take your time amongst legs, uh, between legs. And make sure as you're lifting the leg also, you contract your abs on your way down. So contract your abs on the way up and contract your abs on the way down. Try and keep your back nice and straight when pulling the leg towards you. Here my back's a little bit curved, but I guess do as I say, not as I do. And get creative with your exercises. Here we're going to do a couple of twists. So basically you bring one leg in towards the inside and you twist towards the bent leg. This is an awesome stretch for your back. Make sure you keep your spinal column nice and long. Here this is a butterfly stretch. You can rock yourself from right to left. I find it releases the hamstrings and the hips quite a bit. And also you can do some side twists. Amazing for the back, amazing for the shoulders, and also very good for rotational mobility. Remember, especially when you have MS and Parkinson's, you need to stretch because your body starts to sort of collapse on itself and you get very tight and rigid. Amongst Parkinson people, your spinal column starts to go forward. So it's very important to do exercises to stretch the spinal column. And side twists, such as I'm showing, are excellent for that as they'll increase your, uh, your mobility and your rotational uh, capacity. Just have fun with them. Try different twists. If these poses are difficult, you can work on a box or a massage table, anything that can keep you seated. Next, we're going to move on to some more advanced stuff. So this is a plank, straight arms. You can hold this anywhere between 10, uh, 10 seconds, a minute, as long as you want. There's some other exercises. You can do a plank on your knees, which is much easier. So if plank with straight legs is hard, this one is maybe perfect for some of you. And then you can move on to the later one. And you can also do plank on your forearms. This would be intermediate from the first plank I showed to the second plank I showed. You choose which one. You could even do sets, maybe do 20 seconds three times. Then there's kind of a reverse plank or the build up to a diagonal straight bridge. Here you can come just to a regular tabletop bridge. This is very good for hips and groins. Then you could come, come to a diagonal straight bridge. Remember, use your imagination and get creative with exercises. Build a program and try and stretch and work out a little bit every day. If a lot of these stretches are hard, you can move some of them to a chair. So this is a similar exercise I did before on the floor, except we're using the chair to, uh, to do the stretch. And this makes it that I don't have to get down on the floor if it's very difficult for me to move around. Again, like before, I could grab around the foot, stretch out the hamstring, and then obviously when I'm ready, I could do the opposite foot. Another cool thing with the chair you can do is you can lean your back up against the chair. Like I mentioned before, Parkinson and MS, you tend to curve your shoulders inwards. This is a nice stretch to uh, re-extend uh, your spinal column and work the extensors of the back. You can bring the arms up and then lower them down nice and slow. Bring the arms up 
and then lower them down nice and slow. You can actually do this a couple of times a day just to work those extensors of the back and to open up the shoulders. Also, what I really like about this stretch is you can get a really nice deep breath into your body as you're extending the arms. Have fun with it. And if you want, just stay there a couple of seconds afterwards with your arm extended and take five to 10 deep breaths as you wish. The next stretch is basically for your back. What we do is we get on our knees and we stretch out the quadricep. So the muscle that's being stretched is the muscle of the back leg. You do 30 second stretch and then five to 10 seconds relax. So as you saw, I extended my leg after, that's when I'm in relaxed mode. So you do 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and then obviously you do the other side. This will relax your back quite a fair bit. When I threw out my back many years ago, I was practicing this and my back got rehabilitated within three or four days. So if you're tight at the back, this is a wonderful stretch for you. This brings us to some balancing poses. So here I use a weighted bar, but you can use a counter or anything you could lean your hands on. So one of these first stretches was just a regular side kick, which I did on both sides. You extend the leg as high up as possible, not using so much momentum. You just lift with your natural, uh, with the muscles of the leg without using momentum or really kicking out. Just go nice and slow. Then you could do front kicks. So both these exercises, work the hamstrings, the quadriceps, the abdomen, and they're amazing for the muscles of the feet and just basically to, to cultivate basic balance, which is something actually everybody lacks. So just practice these a couple of times a day or at least once a day uh, and make sure to breathe as you do the motion. So you can inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Here we're gonna bring the knee to chest this is a bit of an abdominal workout too. So not only are we doing our balance, you're actually also working out your abs. So take your time as you extend the knee towards the chest and then bring the leg back down. And then always do both sides. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Take your time as you bring it up. Take your time as you go down. Next exercise. You're gonna bring up the leg and we're gonna do some small circles. I find these types of exercises have been excellent to cultivate control in my legs. They're a little bit unusual, but you'll see. Practice these regularly and your balance will improve almost immediately. You'll see something within a couple of weeks for sure. Really ground your standing foot onto the floor. If you're not sure how to ground the foot, try and push the arc of the foot into the floor and basically suction the toes slightly towards you so that your balance stays better. And then don't forget to rotate medially, which is to say in towards the body, and laterally, which is to say outwards the body. Always do both sides. This exercise, you can do it sides, and you can do it front as I showed it before. The next little video is just three boxes I put together. If you don't have three boxes, you can do it on your bed or on a massage table. I don't show many stretches here. It's just to show you that if you can't make your way to the floor, you can use something to hoist you up and keep you up. So basically, you don't have to sit down on the floor. You can just sit down on the boxes and lie down on the boxes or sit down on the massage table or your bed and just lie down on the massage table or the bed. And you could do seated positions such as forward bends. You could do positions on your stomach such as back extensions, upward facing dogs, uh, anything of the sort. You can manipulate your legs up and down from your stomach. Also, you can lie down and do some leg stuff. I don't show all that stuff here because we could do like a couple of hours of stretching just on the boxes. But basically everything you would be able to do on the floor, you do in the boxes. This last one is a shoulder opener. Basically bring your arms up and down, nice and slow. This will open the inside of your shoulder outside of your shoulder and both pec minor and pec major. Try and inhale, bring your arms up, exhale, bring the arms down. When you're ready, you do the opposite side. And you can actually hold between 30 and 45 seconds between poses, which is to say you keep the arm up, look towards the fingers and keep the, uh, the pose there statically for a while. We're gonna do another uh, little exercise before finishing up the video. This is an ab exercise. You extend the leg, you bring it in, you extend the leg, you bring it in. And again, don't forget to do everything on both sides. So both these exercises, the one, the shoulder opener and this ab exercise, you can do on the box. So again, if your mobility is lacking a bit, just go on the boxes and do it there. Get creative. Don't feel that you don't 
if something's difficult, you just stop. Try and find a prop and continue doing your workout. And also, if you have questions, always feel free to write me. Uh, this is Dragonflow. I hope you found this video helpful. I wish it could have been longer. Uh, I just, for content's purposes, I made it very short and I tried to give a little bit of everything I thought that was important. Have yourself a beautiful day and feel free to write me with anything. Namaste.